What's up, y'all? I am about to go on a hike in Claremont. But first, I got something from Jack in the Box. It's in the fat ass, and I'm pretty stoned right now. But I got uh, two tacos and the mac and cheese bites. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Oh, and I also got a mocha iced coffee. I look a little crazy right now, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, I've never had these before. I know they're like famous or whatever. I guess they used to make them a while ago, but that was just dope. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have had Dragon Box tacos, but they're fire. They're really, really good. They're not good for you, but. They're bomb and they're fresh. And they're pretty fresh today. Mm. Mom. So I've made YouTube videos before when I was really young. I always had a lot of fun with it, but I never kept up with it. So I thought, I'm going to try it again. But while eating, because I love to eat. <laughs> I always get really weird food. So I thought maybe you guys would like it. Whenever I go on a hike, I try to go to somewhere new every time. So this hike I have never been on. Mm. I haven't had these in a really long time. I miss them. <laughs> So I don't know if anybody else does this, but you can tell me in the comments down below if you just did what I did with my hot sauce. I always eat the rest of it before it's gone. Cause I'm a psycho. Nah, I just really love hot sauce. Coffee and tacos. So weird, but it's so good. So I don't really know what you're supposed to dip the mac and cheese in. I'm just gonna try it plain. Mm. They're pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, they're good. Never had anything with this. I got ranch to dip them in, but. Let's see how that is for running. Mm. 
in here. Got the ranch open. Got the mac and cheese bite. And I'm gonna dip it in the ranch. Mm. Mm-hmm. Bum. Oh yeah, it's bum. Bum in the ranch. so cloudy today. I hope it's not freezing on the trail. We shall see. The cheese is like all over the place. Wow, they didn't put nothing in this. It's empty. Ah, it's literally a shop. There's literally like no meat in here. Every time I eat fast food, I'm so disappointed. I don't know why I do this to myself. Like that is all shell and no meat. Um, all right well that taco was a bust first taco is good at least all right so i like to put ketchup on a lot of things so i'm gonna try the mac and cheese bite with ketchup because i already tried it with ranch and i tried it plain This is a sin that I'm committing, but uh, we'll see how it is. Hmm. Mm, it's not bad, but I think ranch is better. Ranch is pretty bomb. Now I'm gonna try ranch and ketchup. Cause now they have this thing called cranch. And I've been mixing ketchup and ranch for the longest time. And now they have it in a bottle. Ketchup and ranch together, game changer. Oh man. Mm. Oh my god. So good. Mm. That combo. One point. So quick story time. I was just looking at um, 
you know, you can go on Snapchat and each day, like, and it'll show you what you did, like, one or two or three years ago on that exact day. Oh, yesterday. It showed me a memory from three years ago on yesterday's date. And it had me standing on a scale saying, finally under 200. Well, I used to be 240 pounds. And I'm now 160. Well, 160, 165. But. It took me a long time. Almost like four years. To get to where I am now. But. That's so why I only enjoy stuff like this in moderation. Like normally a Jack in the Box, I would get four tacos, a Jumbo Jack, a spicy chicken sandwich, and churros, and a shake. That was my minimum order every single time I went. And today I got a six piece macaroni popper and a two tacos and a regular coffee. But it's crazy where you can go in life if you just put your mind where it needs to go. I was in a toxic relationship, got really overweight, didn't realize how much weight I was gaining until someone like took a picture of me and my ex and I woke up and realized I wasn't in a healthy relationship. I got out, started focusing on myself with the help of many people. Um, and my best friend Kylie got me on this keto diet. At the time, it wasn't that big of a thing. They don't have nearly as much stuff as they did back when I started it. But, um, she got me on it and it ended up really liking my body. She, like, made my meals for me and, you know, got, led me in the right direction of what I should and shouldn't eat. And my body just really took to it. I really liked it. And I ended up shutting off weight at a pretty healthy rate. It wasn't, like, super crazy all at once. It took, like I said, years. But I did it with just diet, no exercise. I, like, never exercised, really, at all. And it was just kind of, like, leading me in the right direction of what I should eat. And... I ended up keeping off the weight this whole time. Thank God. I kind of fluctuate um, like 10 pounds here and there, but as far as like my overall well-being, like I feel a lot better. I There's a lot of things that come with losing weight and it's not all pretty, but at the end of the day, like I can't believe I made it this far and I can't believe I can enjoy this stuff still and eat what I want and still be the weight I am. I know a lot of people, like, they have to stay on the diet really hardcore, but I feel once you lose the majority of the weight that you are overweight, then it's not as hard to keep it off because you kind of know, like, how much you're going to, like, gain and how much you're going to lose after you've been doing it for a while with the discipline. And But it was the best decision I ever made to actually get on it. Um, my body never liked anything else. I tried everything else. I tried working out. I tried all these other diets, low calorie, paleo, vegetarian, vegan. I tried all of it for a little while and never worked. And But now it's cool because I can pretty much eat whatever I want. But I just got to watch out what I eat because in moderation, man, that's the only key. Mm. Mm-hmm. So good. Wow.
I wasn't even gonna do this video, but I might, might as well. Got my little piece of hair sticking out. Um, but for anybody out there that is like wondering if they're able to follow through with what they want to do and their dreams and goals and everything, like just know you can. Like, I really never thought I was going to lose my weight ever. I've always been bigger. I was never 240 pounds big, though. That's why it was like, it was like, whoa, whoa, I need to, I need to do something. Like, that, personally, that just, like, triggered my brain into wanting to make a difference in my lifestyle. I just didn't feel good. I was tired. I could barely breathe. I was hot all the time. I have like, I still have scars of where my skin was stretched out for so long. Like in eighth grade, I was 180 pounds. So it was, it was a lot. Like I got made fun of a lot, bullied. I just, I have, I still have an addiction to sugar. I love sugar very much. It makes me very happy. Thanks mom. <sighs> But yeah, it's, it's crazy how life comes full circle. But just know that if you put your mind to it, you could literally do anything, anything you want. You can manifest anything, anywhere you want to go, how much money you want to make. Like, it's all in the power of your own hands. You just got to sit down, you got to manifest. And realize like what you have and what you need to do and it's all about willpower honestly but I don't know about the future with YouTube I'm gonna try just cuz I feel like I could entertain like a lot of people and help people get out of their bad days cuz I do it for a lot of people already and it makes me so happy to do that <clears throat> but I really want to incorporate like marijuana and the cannabis industry because I want to let people know like how I feel on that because it definitely has helped me in my life an insane amount tinctures and edibles and cannabis use and everything like it's insane that I could literally avoid taking Xanax or over-the-counter medication and just get high and feel great but more of the medicinal side of cannabis is where I'm trying to lead myself um, I'm currently in the medicinal industry and it's never been better I've uh, a hate it's, it's literally my dream job I'm so blessed and happy to be where I'm at now. It's taken a really long time, but I just, I don't know. I have a feeling that it's gonna go really good and like cannabis industry is a beautiful place to be. Let me tell you that. It is very stressful and hard and sometimes, but it's so worth it in the day when you know like you're providing people with really, really good products and stuff that helps like insane amount of stories, but I'm about to smoke this CBD pre-roll. It's mainly CBD. It's by Fuzzies Sublime. Um, they're really, really good. I've tried Fuzzies before. I've just never tried their CBD. Um, and we had a we had a decent amount on my work, so I'm like, you know, what? I'm gonna try them. So these, um, all the Fuzzies. Most of the fuzzies are covered in, um, in keef. So these are 16%, uh, 16.4% THC and 5.5% CBD. And so this isn't not gonna get you like super baked or like couch locked or anything like that. It's just gonna take off the edge, really. Um, I've, tried CBD pre-rolls in the past. I've never really been a fan of them, but Fuzzy's pre-rolls in general are amazing, so I thought I would give them a try. 
but um, they're really, really cute. They come in a nice sealed black box with the cover on top and they come nicely rolled with the keef on top. Even though it's CBD, it still has keef, which I thought was cool. So I'm gonna spark this up. Let's see how it goes. One thing I love about fuzzies is they never have a problem like lighting up. They always burn all the way through so perfectly. All right, well, to start, they are a little rough because it is CBD mainly. CBD flower is not usually the smoothest because there's not a lot of THC, but it's still really good. It's still really, it tastes pretty good, decent. I don't know why, like, personally, I just love watching people eat and smoke. It's just like so, uh, it was just so like soothing to me. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a video of me eating and smoking too. So this is really low THC, but it still has a significant amount of THC in it. I have seen some pre-rolls that are just strictly CBD and like very, very little THC, like 10% or 9%, like very small amounts. But this is like, it's getting me a little bit high. Like you can actually feel it. Like the CBD, you feel high, but you can't really feel it all the way. actually giving me pretty stoned. I'm shocked. <clears throat> Exercise is very, very important. I know I have, like, I know I told you guys a little bit ago that I just, um, I didn't really work out. <clears throat> when I lost the majority of my weight, but I am like trying to do a little bit more here and there, like going on hikes is something that I really like doing because I, I don't personally like running or cardio or going to the gym. I, I, I've tried it, I've went, the gym's cool, but I just, I don't know, I'd rather go somewhere by myself or with somebody like to a outside like outdoor hike like it's just beautiful to be with nature and you're also exercising it's just great but okay this cbd pre-roll is like it's getting me pretty stoned <laughs> oh it's cbd enriched so it's not technically a cbd pre-roll But it is because it has more CBD than normal flour. But wow, these are really, really nice. Like I'm not super slumped because I'm about to go on a hike. I don't want to feel, I'm like, well, Blue Dreams is sativa usually. And it says hybrid on this container, but it's really nice. 
This high is really nice. There's these, and then there's also these other ones. Um, I can't remember what they're called. Oh, Jeter's. Jeter's are really cool. I have a friend that sells them. Um, they're really nice. But fuzzies, man, they got it down. They really got it down. Love, love, love this company. Like their OG Kush ones. Ooh, smack. So fire. But if you guys have never been on a hike, you should go anywhere. Just look up a trail in your area and go. Cause it's a lot of fun and you can get out, enjoy the weather, take your dog, whatever. I just can't wait to travel again. It's gonna be so great. <sighs> wow. Sorry about that. Oh, this joint is like never ending. Ooh. Well, I'm about to go on this hike. Thank you guys for chilling with me. This was fun. I'm gonna see if um, how this goes and we'll go from there to see if there's gonna be any more of these. But I'm sure there will, because I, I have fun doing it. I don't really care about the outcome. I just, I enjoy talking to nobody. <laughs> but y'all have a good day. I'll see you on the next one.